Yo, what is happening, guys? Welcome back to the Unspeed Action Channel. Of course, we're back for another reaction on yesterday. We're back for another NF reaction. Sorry about the low break between them. I just, a lot has happened, and I just had to take care of it. Personal life, work, and all that, you know, sometimes you get busy. It is what it is. But now we back, and we're going to continue the NF journey. I'm excited to get back on. We're going to finish off this mixtape, and then we're going to get around to the Hope album. I'm getting quite sad that I'm coming to the end of the NF journey. I really am. But you know what? We still got to keep our foot on the fucking pedal as much as we can. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to be reacting to NF Prideful. Now, the name rings a bell, and as I was setting it up there, it played like the first three seconds, and I had to wind it back. And the start of it rings a bell. I don't know if I've heard this one before, like maybe someone else has played it, but the start of it rung a bell. Or I might just be hallucinating, I don't know. But either way, we're going to get back on it. But of course, before we get into it, as always, y'all know. Hope y'all have an amazing day. If you're not, switch that shit the fuck around and start having an amazing day. Always try and spread positive vibes, entertain, have fun on this channel. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the fun and the vibes. Now, remember, if y'all fuck with the vibe, like, comment, and subscribe. Links up here and down in the description box below. If you want vlogs, IRL content, Undisputed Vlogs, Gamer content, Undisputed Gamer. I got Twitch, I got TikTok, all linked up here and down below. Got IG as well. If you want to check them out, I really would appreciate it. But yes, NF Pride Full. Continue in that journey. See that part, but like, I feel like I'm probably just losing it. Ooh, that is very nice though. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Even unhappy people can have happy moments Ooh. Even small circles fall when the people you chose are Looking at you like you arm that money you're grossing Brief mm. seconds at a Okay, 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 okay Okay, he said, I, I feel like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. I feel like when I'm at my lowest, whenever I feel like I don't have anything left to give, I feel like I work my hardest because I feel like working gets me out of that mindset of that I'm in, which is the negative mindset. So I feel like when I'm at my lowest, when I feel like I have nothing left, I work to kind of take my mind away from it. It's again, F has mentioned in previous ones, like say songs that he's made about his relationship. And he's mentioned a few times that whenever he feels low, he likes to work because it distracts him. But sometimes he distracts himself himself too much with work instead of dealing with it in a sense but i like that part obviously um you have lois and he said even unhappy people can have happy moments even if you're unhappy even if you say deal with depression even if you have depression you have anxiety like you can still be happy in certain moments now it's obviously going to be more difficult than the average but you can still have it everybody deals with it differently you you could be sad most of the time but you'll still have your happy moments with your family with your friends all this and that you'll still have your moments and then that part about the small circle and pe people and your money i think i need i need to hear that again but i think what he meant is obviously quality over quantity you, Keep your circle small, pick better people, but at the same time, even a small circle can be dangerous when they kind of think you owe them everything. So, like, if you if they lend you money or something, then they're lending you and it's back in the back there and then instead of just doing it to help you out, if you get me. Uh, 13. I'm going to listen to that little part again and see. I like that part, though. And then into the beat. Yeah. It's like I work my hardest when I'm at my lowest. Yep. Even unhappy people yeah, can have happy moments. moments. Even small circles fall when the people you chose are looking at you like you arm that money you broke. Even small circles fall when the people you chose are just not good. Basically, you you can pick a small circle, but it's the same quality over quantity. You usually, when you look at a smaller circle, it's usually better quality. But you could have a circle of free people, and it still might not be free right people. You might only have one proper friend there. So even small circles can fall apart if they're still not that good. Sometimes one friend is better than free because you'll notice that some people just aren't the quality that you need. Brief seconds had impacted my life on a huge scale. Way I'm like, what's wrong and what's right? Mm, okay. Predictions I predicted often arrive like they own a place and suffocate the areas that I thrive. Had some disagreements. Business model got some cracks. That's your biggest weakness. Way before I got involved, you knew that ship was sinking. So telling me to dive in water, you won't dip your feet in, tends to make me question you for lots of reasons. Mm. Keep twisting. I like that part whenever he says, obviously, about the, the predicting things and trying to suffocate where he exceeds. His his own mind trying to suffocate where he exceeds, where he does well. His own mind tries to literally sabotage him. But that part there, I need to listen to it word for word. I get it, but I need to listen to it word for word. 
Uh, some disagreements. Business model got some cracks. That's your biggest weakness. Way before I got involved, you knew that ship was sinking. So telling me to dive in water, you won't dip your feet in tens of. You knew that. You knew before I even got involved that ship was sinking. So telling me to dive head first um, in water that you wouldn't even dip your feet in, and that is people that don't have your back. It is literally. You told you knew that ship was sinking. You knew that ship was going down. You knew there was nothing good coming out of it. You knew it was going right down, and yet you still told me to dive head first into the water that you wouldn't even dip your feet in. So it really makes me question: Do you really have my back? Because if you're telling me to go do something and take a risk that you're not willing to risk, clearly you don't think there's a good outcome, and you're advising me to go do it. You're supposed to have my back. So okay, and uh, okay. Make me question you for lots of reasons. Yep. Keep twisting my words. You got some courage. I applaud you. Tables they turn, but was it worth what it cost you? Watch and observe. Lot of concerns in my heart still. Angry and hurt. Got what you earned. Being prideful. I like that tables turn, but was prideful. it worth what you lost? Okay. Prideful. Okay. Taking what you need, then blame it on me, man. That's all. Prideful. I knew, I knew, I guess. Prideful. Calling me conceited. Oh, that's how you see it. Well, that's all. That's all. Shameful. Guess that's what I get for being faithful. Yep. Oh, you think I'm soulless because the bank's full. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm heartless because I'm made go. Mmm. You think I'm soulless because the bank's full. You think I'm heartless because, um,. Shit, my mind just went blank there. You think I'm soulless because the bank's full. You think I'm heartless because I made dough. Literally, I, my mind just went blank there. No, that's 100% because obviously a lot of people who, well, not a lot of them, some people who have loyal people around them and have good people around them, they become famous, they earn good money, and then they push everyone to the side and they become heartless because it's like this. See, people who say money doesn't change you are lying. Money changes everyone. It's either for good or for bad, and that is it. Obviously, depending on your perspective, some people change for, in my opinion, what is bad, which is you cut the people off that had your back when you were down, when you had nothing, and you go hang about with these celebrities and these people who have clout because those are the people that will further your career and all this, but you cut the people off. And what I think is good is what NF basically done. He's earned the money, but he takes care of his family. He makes sure to take care of the people around him, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the people that was there with you when you had fuck all, take them to the top, and have them celebrate with you because they had your back. That's the point. That's why so many people say it's lonely at the top because you climbed the ladder yourself instead of bringing everyone with you to the top. That's why you're lonely because you did it the wrong way, in my opinion. Um, But that part right there about the heartless, it's because so many people, when they do that, so he goes... Basically what he's saying is you think because so many other people, whenever they made money, they became heartless and didn't care about things. You just automatically assumed that was me because you clearly didn't trust who I was. Yeah, that's all. Painful. Didn't know what you was doing on the down low. Yep. Yeah, still you out here acting like it's my fault. Yeah, I ain't never that's said what I they was do. an angel. No, they blame me. I know myself and nothing know it. I need. Showed you true colors. I don't like what I see. Mm. So it keeps changing. I know what that means. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. People will blame you for shit that you didn't do. Anyone, right? None of us like to be wrong, right? None of us like to be wrong, but some of us have um, accountability, which is what you're supposed to have. There's so many people to make this quick. So many people in this world that do not have accountability. They could do a million things wrong, and they will not own up to it. They will think it's your fault. There's people who this perfect wise man. I know so many people. I'm not friends with them anymore. But I was friends with them, and I know so many people who was always in relationships and friendships, right? And they were constantly being betrayed by betrayed by people, and they were constantly having these negative situations, these toxic situations, and it was always the other person's fault. And obviously, because I was their friend, I was young, I was their friend, I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, fuck them. Then I grew up and realized, wait a minute, this has a pattern here. Every relationship you've been in, every friendship you've been in, ends in a similar way. But the one thing that remains the same, the one pattern that remains the same is you. There's no way every single person is that rude to you. There's Don't get me wrong, there's assholes in the world. I've had a lot of people to do me over. But I haven't been a saint in every situation myself either. So whenever I saw this repeat, I was like, okay, 
maybe you're not the saint. And I cut them off because I realized how negative they were. And it turned out I was true because from that point on, they were even more negative in these talks. They're the type of people I didn't want to deal with. So NFCM right there about you could have just sent an apology, but people don't want to admit they're wrong. People just want to always be, I'm right. I can't do wrong. I this. When realistically, holding yourself accountable will make you go further. Holding yourself to a standard of I don't do wrong will only hold yourself back. But, you know, that's up to you to do so. Very well said, NF. Very well said, as always. Too old. That means, know what that means, I know what that means. How'd you go from being that somebody I believed into being someone that would be behind the scenes? Yep. Can't forgive it, sorry that I ain't never received. I mean, least you could have done was gave me an apology, but you're so prideful. Yeah, prideful. Taking what you need, then blame it on me, man, that's so. Prideful. Hey. Prideful. Calling me conceited. Oh, that's how you see it. Well, that's all. Prideful. I thought he was going to sing it again. <laughs> Got that one. <laughs> I really, I really like the chorus of this one. Like, listen. I really enjoyed that chorus, and the thing is, I really enjoyed it because it wasn't the normal, obviously it was the singing, but I really enjoyed the fact that it wasn't just normal singing, it was very low volume, kind of little bit of auto-tune type of thing, it wasn't like just a normal person's voice, it was kind of like I AI in a sense, if you get me, and in the way it was playing, and obviously you heard hot NF here, and they're going prideful over it. I thought that was a really good course. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, overall, NF, obviously, never disappoints. He did it again. I love the way he spoke about people in this one, about not being, not holding themselves accountable, doing you over, and the fact that every, people kind of just blame you even when they're in the wrong, and they won't hold themselves accountable, and they'll point blame wherever they can because it's a normal human instinct because most human beings, no one likes to be wrong. No one. I don't like to be wrong. You don't like to be wrong. That's it. Now, I'm one of these people that if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. I would rather someone call me out when I'm wrong so I can learn from it and, you know, learn where I went wrong. So I don't like being wrong, but I don't hate it because it's always a learning curve. And I'm sure you would agree, but no one likes being wrong. And some people just cannot admit when they're wrong. They could literally... They could literally dri be driving a car, drive up onto a footpath and run someone over and blame the pedestrian because they're like, why were they walking there at exactly 3.02 in the in the afternoon? It's their fault. Those are the type of people. So I like the way NF kind of called them out and he called out people who was probably around him whenever he was coming up that had his back until they started doing well and then didn't. As I always say, people want to see you do well until you start doing better than them and then they have an issue. So NF said it very well. Very good song. I'm happy to be back on the fucking grind. Let's go. We're going to continue this. As always, I enjoyed that. I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all think positive. Hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you all are staying safe. This is another NF reaction. I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless. 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 Fearless.